What's up guys and welcome back to the Superhero Buzz, where we cover the latest in everything comic book movie related. I am your host Noah and in this video, we have a lot of news to cover. I'm going to share with you some new updates regarding spin-off films, which may reveal the future of Toby and Andrew after No Way Home. And as my famous catchphrase goes, it may not be what you expected. But first, if you could, hit that subscribe button so you can get the latest buzz and everything comic book movie related. This will also qualify you for my new giveaway, so watch till the end of the video for the rest of those details. Anyways, there's quite a bit to unpack, so need I say more? Let's dive right in. No Way Home is right around the corner, and they still haven't announced Toby and Andrew, even though it's been confirmed they're going to be in the film. The evidence is already out there. Take the lizard scene, for example. He moves! Right there! Coincidence? I think not! But if you saw my last video, I shared some new updates regarding Toby and Andrew, which told us more about the roles in the film, more so on their backstory, with the first coming from Daniel Rickman. And according to what he's heard, their first scene won't happen until later in the film, an hour and a half to be exact, which makes sense for a number of reasons. If we go back to an older plot leak, Doctor Strange and Peter will travel the multiverse, where they'll seek the help of Toby and Andrew. We'll find out what they've been up to since their previous films. We'll find out that Toby will be married with a daughter, with Andrew becoming a professor, which means that they will have progressed in their respective timelines. Their respective universes will be expanded upon in the film, which should give us more insight on their backstory. Directors Mark Webb and Sam Raimi were also consulted on regarding their development, which I think is brilliant, but we can now take that a step further. Because according to the same source, Sony is now developing spin-off films for The Rhino and Sandman, which will directly correlate to the events in No Way Home, in other words, the aftermath. Now I found this interesting for a couple reasons. This could mean that the Sandman will survive No Way Home, because according to a previous report, both the Lizard and Sandman will have apparently died in their respective timelines, which means they didn't survive past their previous films. But we do know that the spell will somehow revive them, though how is yet to be revealed. In the multiverse, just about anything is possible. This also alludes to what Doctor Strange said, on how the villains were killed by Spider-Man, which means that death is their fate, which means there's no way home for the villains, which according to the MCU Direct, is the meaning behind the title. Furthermore, this could also explain why the Rhino won't appear in No Way Home. Most of you know this by now, but there will only be five villains in the film, contrary to previous reports of there being six. I know a lot of you were confused by that, including myself, but this could finally give us the answer. It appears they were saving the Rhino for his own solo film, but it doesn't really make sense to me, unless they're going to have Andrew in it. And the same goes for Toby appearing in the Sandman film, which could indicate their future after No Way Home. There have also been reports of a Sinister Six film, which could be the next time we see all three Spider-Men together, after No Way Home. I guess only time will tell. Having said that, what are your thoughts on this? And more importantly, what villain are you most excited for? Be sure to let me know your thoughts down below. Now let's get into the giveaway details. I'll be giving away the first exclusive Superhero Buzz t-shirt that is now available in all sizes. And all you have to do is give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe. As always, thank you so much for tuning in. I will catch you next time.